Recently rescued warriors told me that the person who is responsible for all the massacre which led to the almost complete disappearance of our people in this land stays in one of the camps nearby. I need to find him and make him pay for all the pain and suffering which he caused us. This land will be mine. All right, welcome to this land is my land. This is a, sh shall we say, a uh, kind of open world stealth action adventure game where you play as a Native American and you try to take back your land, as is the, uh, you know, as is the, uh, the name of the game. All right, so as you can see, basic controls right here. Basically, also, I, I should just mention before we get into any more of the gameplay, if you'd like to check out this game, there's a link in the description. But the other thing that I wanted to mention is that when I was creating my character, his name is Bear Wave. Yes, yes, I know. Anyway, his name is Bear Wave. So if you were to create a character with a different name, it depends what kind of stats you start with, basically. It, it kind of gives you a bonus. So, for example, if, you, if I were to call myself Sleeping Bear, that would have actually given me plus 20 to wait. Now, I'm not entirely sure whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, but I tried a number of different name combinations, and each one gave me a different benefit or a, a different deficit as well. Now, Bear Wave gives me plus 110 health, and I think it gives me something else as well, like, uh, I think it gives me something good otherwise. All right, so let's, let's, uh, let's start, shall we? Hello, this is Bear Wave. I'm going to sneak around a little bit. As you can see, this is, this is sneaking. You have to hold X to sneak. And we're going we're gonna to attempt to craft a uh, wooden bow and some wooden arrows as well. So I will try to do that. All right, so as you can see, this is actually the camping menu right here. This is an insane, massive, huge world that you can see. Look at it. Look, look at it. Look at it. it it's, just, it's just insane. I'm dragging the map all over the place. And, it, and this is the furthest I can actually zoom out by the looks of things. But it's just insane. Oh, yeah, I have 1,100 skill points. So that's obviously what I got from naming my character Bear Wave, which is actually pretty cool. So as you can see, I can increase my pistol shooting accuracy, my rifle shooting, or my bow shooting. I can also do a variety of other things here by going into the other archetypes. So you have Warrior, Scout, Chief, and hunter and it's crazy the amount of things that you can do right here are insane so you can obviously liberate a number of different camps you can get you know skill points for doing all these things kill the the enemy leaders and things like that so now i already have enough to be able to craft my wooden bow so i'm actually going to craft that right away and i also have enough to be able to get five wooden arrows so let's craft that too there we go while you can track only one objective there are many to switch currently tracked objective enter the menu open objectives and choose objective you want to track all right so yeah that's that's easy enough so if we go over here we can basically make it so that we can uh maybe we can do this one let's liberate shikmada i suppose we can do and yeah that's uh, that's what we got to do so as you can see I can then shoot my bow if I so desire. And I should probably go and speak to some of my warriors, perhaps. That might make sense. Ah, okay, so we can lure the enemy, smoke herbs, or throw stones. Ooh, look at that. All right, okay, so we can obviously have weapon controls here as well. I'm, I think I'm basically going to be using a bow. Personally, I would prefer to use a bow for the most part. Okay, so I can obviously loot things as well. And I'm actually wondering if I can chop things down, whether I can chop anything down, or, do, or can I just loot things from the ground? Uh, I think I can probably just loot things from the ground. All right, so I have come back to the camp and I have rested at the campfire. And as you can see, it is now daytime. So yeah, basically what you do to save the game is you rest at the campfire. You can't save the game any other way. So there's a little bit of realism going on there as well. Now, I have just run around a little bit to try and gain some additional crafting materials because I have a feeling I'm probably going to miss a whole bunch with these arrows. So I'm going to try and get as many as I can. Now, bear in mind that I did spend my skill points in 
the shooting uh, shooting accuracy with your bow because personally I feel like that's definitely going to be something that I really quite badly want to do. Aha! Uh -huh. Now look, there's actually an outpost over there. I think we should probably travel towards that outpost and then we'll see what we can do. As you can see, the enemy is expanding its borders, so we're going to have some difficulties with them relatively soon. I'm going to be just traveling by myself for the moment. I know you can, I believe, take warriors with you and you can actually have them help you in combat and things like that but obviously at the moment I'm kind of not wanting to do that just in case I lead them into an absolute massacre let's just say that all right so we're getting a tutorial about the outposts now you can initiate fast travel from the nearest outpost with a lit campfire to any outpost or friendly camp within your regions light up the outpost campfire to enable fast travel so that's actually really awesome as well we're getting a nice little bit of a checkpoint going on here now i just need to find where it actually is because i've wandered relatively close by to it i'm actually right here so let me see if i can find it now ah there it is i see it all right so i'm just going to continue picking up resources and things like that as well because obviously they are very very important and let's light it up there we go all right so now we can fast travel here anytime we want all right so now what we're going to do is i'm actually going to head off by myself and we're going to see if we can in maybe encounter a couple of enemies maybe see if i can take them down if at all possible i mean obviously i'm not entirely sure if I will be able to do that so early on in the game, but ah, look at this. We have gained a warrior. One warrior from the Outer Lands has joined us. That's actually pretty awesome. I think they've joined us at the very least, and there seems to be a camp over there. So I need to be a bit careful here as well, because obviously this is a road. I would assume that the enemy is probably going to be traversing the road relatively frequently. So I'm going to maybe just crouch down a little bit here and then move forward ever so slightly. So let me actually just take a look. Yeah, so what is this? This is Fort Assiniboine by the looks of things. Okay, so there's that as well. Uh -huh, okay, and then there's a, a little bit of hunting to be done over there as well. All right, so I'm actually pretty happy with where we are so far. And... I think I can actually construct some more arrows if needed. I'm not entirely sure how much damage I'm actually even capable of doing at this point, but I would assume because this is the very first region, we're probably not going to have too many difficulties taking out any enemies, as long as I can maybe hit them in the head. Obviously, I'm not entirely sure what the bows are like in terms of their effectiveness and how, you know, how much arrow drop there actually is. So I suppose we're going to find that out relatively soon as well. All right, so it looks like I have spotted our first, well, first enemy, I suppose you could say. Okay, so killing left mouse button is not the only way to deal with the enemy in close range combat. When you're close enough to an enemy, you can trigger an interrogation. During an interrogation, you can obtain useful information. Aha. If an enemy detected you or is aware of your presence, you can't grab immediately. First, you need to get yourself to 33%. Percentage can be increased by learning skills. All right. Well, technically... So can, can I attack right here? Can I just, like, attack? Hmm. Let me actually just take a quick look. Okay, so I have all of this stuff. So this is what I've obviously been, been uh, picking up and everything. And it doesn't seem like I have any melee... Melee things. I can actually do this. This is actually pretty awesome. This is a healing potion... Guess I'm actually going to craft that. Let's craft two of those, why not? And we can craft this as well, which gives me more stamina, but not really necessary right now, I don't think. And then we have rope, which is probably going to be very useful later down the line. But you can see that there's a huge amount of crafting to be done here. And you can actually see, you know, just click this, and then it basically just tells you everything that you already know. And that's pretty cool too. All right, so... I have 500 points. Is there anything I can spec into? No, there's nothing I can spec into. Okay. Let's do this then. This is going to be problematic. Is it? Is it though? Maybe it's not going to be too problematic. Maybe it's actually going to be slightly easy. I'm not entirely sure what the stealth system is like either, so I guess this is going to be a pretty fun experience. Hopefully I'm not going to get shot in the face because, well, you know me. I generally tend to have that happen quite often. 
I think as long as I am... Ooh, there's actually... What is that? Five enemies so far I've seen? That's kind of... Bad. Oh dear. Okay, well, uh, just just have a smoke. Don't worry. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm blending in with the bush. Don't worry about this. Don't worry about me at all. I do want to kill this guy. Quite a lot. As you can see, bear wave is detection. Enemies need some time to, d to find out your presence. The amount of time needed to detect varies and depends on your stance and velocity. An indicator shows the current state. While the ind indicator is white, you are more or less safe. As soon as the indicator becomes red, the enemy knows about you and make, will make appropriate actions. Okay, so, yeah. I think I'm I think I'm fine. I think I'm fine right now. Because I'm actually just... I can't move, by the way, when I am in this form. You know, when I'm, when I'm crouching down like this, I can't move. I'm in sneak mode, basically. So I can't move while I'm doing that. I can move while I'm crouching normally, but otherwise I cannot. So it is much more a stationary ambush kind of tactic. Okay, I finally killed him, and now we're gonna run, and now we're gonna run, I killed him. Okay, so I did actually kill him, am I, am I gonna die? Am I bleeding? No, I think I'm okay, I think I'm okay. But I really wish I was a little bit closer to the trees, because then I would be able to quite easily get away. Are they actually chasing me? It doesn't see, oh, they might be chasing me, they might be chasing me, okay, so, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to need to go into my inventory here and actually take some of this. This is going to give me some extra HP. Oh yeah, they're still shooting me. They are still shooting me. I I, get, I better get out of here. I better get out of here, that's for sure. Alright, but do you see how many arrows that guy took? That guy took so many arrows. I should have shot him in the face. I really should have shot him in the face much more. But uh, yeah, it was the first time me doing some damage to one of these guys. So, uh, that is to be expected, I suppose. Anyway, I think, I think we're good. I am still being shot at, so maybe I'm not, maybe I'm not particularly good, but, uh, well, I'm gonna, gonna sneak, and we're gonna go crouch. And let's see whether the enemies give up or whether they know I'm here still or anything like that. I'm not entirely sure. I can't see them coming for me right now. But uh, yeah, that was whew, that was a, a very close. Very close indeed. And uh, I'm very happy that I was able to escape. It seems like they've left me. Yes, it seems like they've left me. That's fantastic. There's actually another fort right over here. I actually ran over to the other one. So that's kind of interesting, isn't it? Okay, so I will use this again. That is going to give me a little bit of extra HP. I actually am going to make some more, I think. Yeah, let's make some more. Let's craft that, craft that. That actually gives me more skill points as well, by the way. So whenever you craft things, it gives you more skill points too, which I actually think is really cool. I like that. And let's craft some more arrows as well. Let's craft a whole bunch of those. There we go. All right, so I want to know how to craft the next bow, because as you can see, my bow at the moment is only doing 31 damage. The next one, I need wood and sinew, but unfortunately, I don't seem to have the ability. Oh, I can actually learn this. I can actually learn this. I don't think I have sinew, though, so I'm actually going to learn it. I need wood. Oh. Oh, no, no. I need sinew. <laughs> never mind, never mind. Okay, so yeah, that's actually really, really cool. I think I will want to get the Hunter's Bow as soon as possible, so maybe we'll be able to do something like that. Oh, hello. Right. Oh, I killed him. What? How did I kill him so easily in comparison to the previous guy? Was the previous guy super, super easy or, or hard to kill? I have no idea, but he's actually, whoa, he actually dropped a pistol and some ammo as well. So technically I could use that. And now I can drag. Oh, this is cool. This is really, really cool. Okay. And now I'm actually just going to run. 
or should I not? I should probably not run because they're actually very close by to me. So I'm actually going to drop this guy in the bushes here and I am definitely going to need to craft some more things. Unfortunately, the game does not pause when you are in your menus. So you are going to have to do what you can and I am going to just drink those things. There we go. Okay, fantastic. Where are the enemies? They're very close by, as you can see. There's one right there. See if we can get him. Got him. All right, we killed him with a headshot. Yes. Okay, so apparently our first little foray into combat was not exactly great because I did not go for the headshot. I should have gone for the headshot. Let's, uh, let's take this. Take all that. Thank you very much. I'm going to drag him away if I can. There we go. Yes, now stay quiet, everyone. We can do this. No problem at all. So it seems like actually luring them away is a really good way of clearing out these areas. Hello. Enemy over there! Oh, is he dead? No. He's dead now. Okay. No, I've got no more arrows. I have Oh, I have one. Okay, I picked up another one. Okay, got to be careful about this. Can he still see me? I'm actually unsure whether he can still see me or whether he's... I, I'm actually literally going to die. I literally have like zero HP. But if I can take him out, then I will be hailed as a hero. And my people will love me. And we got him. Oh, that was that was awesome. That was awesome. Okay, so uh, let me uh, let me. Oh, oh no, no! There's a thing that wants to kill me. I think. Oh no, it's actually a boar. I think the boar could actually kill me though. I think it probably wants to. <gasps> no, it is. Run, run, bear wave. Run, bear wave. We're not going to be looting our friends that we've just killed. We are going to instead be running away from a boar that very badly wants to have me for lunch. As you can quite clearly see. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, come on. We've got, we've got to do this. we got to run. I wonder whether... I, can, I, can I climb trees or something like that to get away from the boar? I don't think I can. Oh, okay. Phew. Okay, I think I can, I think I can kind of outmaneuver it. Or maybe not. <laughs> I'm actually wondering what happens when I die. That's a pretty interesting... Oh, I got knocked down, and we lost 77. Oh, okay, that's actually not even that bad. I think that's actually a pretty forgiving death mechanic. And I think that's pretty awesome, because... Let's face it, if you die, you don't really want to lose too much, unless you obviously have a setting, you know, a difficulty setting that you you know, really, really want to have, you know, uh, activated or something like that. But yeah, that is pretty awesome. I got to say, I'm actually really enjoying this and I would like to play more of it. If you'd like to see more of this land is my land and it's early version. This is an early version of the game. Then, well, let me know. Let me know by stating it down in the comments. You can also check out the game through the link in the description. And otherwise, I thank you very much for watching. And I will see you next time.